Day 1, Hong Kong Harbor, China. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. In less than one hour, we sail for Sydney, Australia. 5,000 miles of open seas, tropical islands, and new adventures. It's been almost three months since Dad heard about his new job, bought the boat, and started training us for the trip. But now that it's time to leave, everyone's getting nervous. Mom's in denial, pretending it's not really happening. And Dad's not smiling like he usually does. You seen Shane yet? No. Mom's in town to look for him. You better get ready, sweetie. We're leaving. Jack! Look what Sheldon brought us. Five course meal for Mr. Chow's and a bottle of Dom Perignon. We'll probably get lost in our first night out. <laughs> That's great, Shell. Thanks. Pleasure's all mine, Jack. Been a great customer. Cynthia! Wait right here. This is the girl I told you about. Did I run? It's a little late now. Did you bring it? Loaded and ready. Yeah. Let's hope I don't need to use it. You'll be fine. It's always better to be safe. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, my God. I can't believe you're actually going to be living on this tiny little thing. You are a cruel man, Jack. Well, at least you won't be able to get away from me, huh? <laughs> Cynthia, this is Sheldon. Sheldon, this is Cynthia. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Uh, Sheldon, so does the... Oh. So... How long is this little trip going to take? Three to five weeks. I get a different answer every time I ask. It depends on the wind. I think I'd rather depend on Qantas. <laughs> it's a great deal, actually. You save on airline tickets, and the boat will be worth twice as much when you get there. And Jack gets to be Captain Cook for a moment. <laughs> Wasn't he killed by savages? <laughs> oh, yes. As a matter of fact, he was, but that was a long time ago. Well... Bon voyage, you lovely people. Jack, I expect a detailed report when you get there. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Anna, have a good trip. Thank you, Sheldon. I'm sorry, honey. No biggie. He's probably crazy about me. Just doesn't know it yet. Find him? Let's just go without him. We'll all have more room. Oh, you're such a sweet child. Here he comes now. Shane, let's go. Oh, yeah. That's so gross. Hey, Shane, get your lips off her and get in the boat. <laughs> see you. I'll send you a koala bear or something. Come on. I'm going to miss change out. Me too. Your mom's cooking better than this. Yeah, that's why we have 200 TV dinners on board. <laughs> hey, watch your mouth. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. 
you right back in touch with your soul. <laughs> yep. Yep, I'm right there with you, Mom. Don't be so rude. What? I mean it. <laughs> you gonna eat that? Just a little bit out I can't believe Sheldon reacted to Cynthia the way he did. I would have jumped off the dock if it looked at me that way. <laughs> I should suddenly hope you would. Well, oh. I haven't seen that for a while. <laughs> I love it out here, Jack. I don't know what I was so frightened about. It's gonna get better. Ooh, great minds think alike. What are the kids doing? I throw them overboard. Perfect. <laughs> Day five. The wind has picked up overnight, and it's a whole different ocean now. Mom's not feeling so good and hasn't been out since breakfast. Last night, two flying fish and a big squid landed on the deck. Shane ate the squid for breakfast, and Todd caught his hand on the dorsal fin of the flying fish. Everything seems to be going well. For the first three days, we saw lots of ships. But now there's nothing. Woo! Joy! Horses! They're beautiful! You okay? Oh, I want to die. I just want to die. Did you take that motion sickness stuff? Oh, if the bottle I can't keep him down. I made you some soup. You, you really should try and get something in your stomach. Oh, God. No. Oh, take it away, please. Leave me alone. You know, honey, may, maybe you should come up on deck. It'll make you feel better. Precaution for what? Like what just happened. You know that I hate guns. I know that, Anna. That's why I didn't tell you. But it's not a big deal anyway. It it didn't even work.
wake up. Hey, you better have a good reason for waking me up. There's a ship. Really? Maybe it's a ship full of babes? It's coming right at us. You better go and get Dad. some signal, but it keeps coming right at us. Fall off the port. Shane, get the sail. Are they signals or anything? No, nothing. Oh, man, it's coming right at us. Maybe it's the Coast Guard or something. No. No, there's no Coast Guard out here. Shane, get the pistol. It is. I don't know. What's going on? There's a ship. It's falling right after us. Todd, put it back on its original course. You better do what you says, Jack. I'll get the main. No, no, no. Get, get on that radio and see if you can get some help. Hannah, get the engine. Anna, just do what I tell you. Get the engine. Mayday, mayday, mayday. This is the U.S. Ned's Albatross. Does anybody read me? Over. Why don't they identify themselves? I don't know. Get hurt, Jack and Anna. Don't believe him. He's lying. Leave us alone, Sheldon. I'm warning you. <clears throat> Jack, don't be a fool. We're gonna take the boat, and there's nothing you can do about it. We'll let you go in the dig. We read you, Albatross. <laughs> Dad, I got somebody. Tell him we'll be attacked by pirates. Give him our coordinates. Jack, I'm warning you. Do what I tell you. This is the U.S. Catch Albatross. We're being attacked by pirates. Our Why coordinates. Are you? <laughs> Back off or I'll shoot, Sheldon. Oh. <laughs> well, there's that little old gun again. That little old gun, huh? Get the boat and get out of here. Stop it. Shot them all right off the bat. Get in the way. Come on! Get this thing going! We're losing them! Over this way! Come on! Jack, you slide box. I'm okay. It's no big deal. Take a look. No, you're not okay, Shane. It's bleeding.
Depends on what he told you, Jack. They're not gonna let us live, Anna. When we get out of here and tell the authorities what they did, then they're dead men. Take Shane down below. Use the flashlight. The weather Looks like we lost them. Yeah. Fall off the starboard a bit more. All right, start him up. Bring him over there. They're going away. Hold that course. I'm going down below. How's he doing? It's just a small cut along the hairline. How you feel? Kind of funky with Mom's finger in it. I gotta clean it. Don't move. It's so here. No, they're gone. Why did you do it, Jack? I don't know, Anna. I wish I did. You guys just stay down here, all right? It's clean. You still out there? No, but I can hear something up front now. It's like a low rumble. Part of the ship's rail. Looks like the whole ship broke up. Look what I found. Oh, honey, that's great. Thank you. Think they have sharks out here? No, sweetheart. The sharks won't come on the reef. We'll be fine. Hey, guy. Looks like the dinghy over here. I almost walked by without seeing it. Let's get it up. This is supposed to be unsinkable. It probably will rip something. Oh man, there's a hole right here. Is the repair kit in the pocket? Hold on a sec. Uh, got it. Good. Let's try and get out of here. Do you think it's safe to go that far? You can't stay here. Sort of 
Let's get the boat into the trees. Aye, aye, Captain. Let's go, Todd. You think they're coming here now? Just a precaution. Why are you all about this in here? Why you got a gun? Yeah. I already told you. It's just a precaution. No. You know all about the pirates. You just weren't going to tell us. Don't tell me you're lying, Jack. I can't believe you did this. You really think the pirates are coming here? No, sweetheart, I don't think so. Not if we're careful. Everything's gonna be just fine. I promise. Look out for the monkey, dude. Whoa, whoa. Hey, look. Oh, cool. Oh. Hey, guys. Hey, how you doing? What's up? Hey. Well, at least you know they got good taste. What is it? Well, there's the monkeys. Monkeys? I want to see them. Just get the wild animals. Why don't you stay here with your mom? I'm gonna go check out the area with Ty. Sure. You okay? Keep your eyes open. Let's go. Think they come looking for us so they don't show up in Australia? I'm sure they will. It's over 5,000 miles away. There's no way they're gonna find us. Thank you for your optimism, Shane. We really appreciate it. I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just saying it the way it is. Although you're really scaring us. It's okay. Keep your eye open for anything we can eat. Does that include animals? It includes anything we can catch. Let's go. Let's see what else we can find. Already dead, Liz. Still moving. It's just his reflexes, honey. Oh, gross! Screaming. No, that's just the air hissing out of its shell. I'm definitely gonna become a vegetarian when this is all over. Anna. I'm not interested in you and the kids. 
just want my boat back. I think this one's that way. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him disappear over the horizon. Where are the boys? Still down at the point, keeping a lookout. How's she doing? Exhausted. Think they'll come back again? Not for a while. Not after the way that croc bit him. How are you doing? I can't believe I lit that fire, Jack. Anna, Anna, this is not your fault. I'm the one that got us into this. I wanted to do this as much as you did. I... Anna, there's another island to the north of us. Maybe we can build a boat and get ourselves there. How long will that take? Depends on what we can find here. And if there's nothing there? Someone is going to come along sooner or later. All we got to do is keep our eyes open. Hey, guys. Everything okay? Everything's fine. Why don't you guys get yourself some rest? I'll keep a lookout. You sure they're all gone? They're all gone. Don't worry. Wake up. What? There was a redhead, man. The girl. Yeah! What's going on? Shane saw a girl. She brought my board. What kind of girl? A redhead, I don't know. I hope this isn't another one to get Jack Shane. Oh, man, I did not put this here. Did anybody else do this? I didn't. Me neither. Well, there's no way in hell it washed up here like this. Maybe it was those monkeys we saw. Oh, sweetheart. Monkeys wouldn't do something like this. See any tracks? Just our own. So what do we do now? Well, first we're going to have to build ourselves someplace to stay. Then we'll try and build a boat. A boat? With what? I don't know. We'll find some. Well, we should go back to the reef and see what we can find. We can take the board. You're not leaving us alone again, Jack. Okay, I'll take Todd. No way. Mom's right. What? 
police. I am a legend on this thing. Redhead man, they don't have redheads in this part of the world. Don't you have any kind of fantasy life? Yeah, I keep imagining I'm an only child and life's perfect. Hey, hey, look at this. Looks like part of the ship. See it? Oh yeah, looks like the whole bow, man. How deep do you reckon it is? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. I gotta show you something. You scared the hell out of me. Take a deep breath. Come home with a bird, or I won't come home. Think you'll get one? Certainly hope so.
Don't move. It's not gonna hurt. It's just a little tiny thorn. Hostia, Hostia. Ah! There! Hey, you barely even see it. Boy, in the wild is tough. Too tough for me. You okay? Did you get the bird? Something beat me to it. Well, what, what are you talking about? What happened? A cat got it. A cat got that big bird? Yeah. It's always been stopping to get that. What kind of cat? It, um, looked like a panther to me. You mean they have panthers on this island? Well, at least one. <laughs> Why not? I mean, they have pirates, crocodiles, red-headed monsters. Why shouldn't there be a panther? Probably have dinosaurs as well. A dinosaur? No, I'm only kidding, honey. I'm only kidding. How'd you guys get all this stuff? We dived on the wreck. We, Kimosabi? You found the ship? Oh, yeah. Check this out. Looks like a treasure to me. Found it in the ship's hull. Figured Sheldon was using us to smuggle it out of the country. No wonder he wanted his ship back. Yeah, and that's why he'll probably be coming back for it. Not necessarily. He knows the ship's tank. Right on. Well, then I'll take the Rolex. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. And this looks gorgeous on you, Mom. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. Can I take this? <laughs> hey, guys. We're gonna have to turn this stuff back to the original owners when we go home. No way, Dad. That's bogus. <laughs> we got your suitcase and your toothbrush as well. <sighs> hey, it's just a toothbrush, Mom. She's just upset about the panther. Excuse me? Panther? It's the one that ate Dad's bird. Mmm, mmm. Oh, man. I never thought Spam would taste that good. Hey, Liz, I'll give you 50 grand for another can. Well, wait a minute. Let's save the rest of it. This is perfect. I'm going to have to write the manufacturer as soon as we get out of here. <laughs> Seven years bad luck, but at least you can see yourself. Oh, gosh, I look dreadful. You look great. I second that. Mom, they're just sucking up. Well, at this point, I appreciate every minute of it. You boys did great. I'm very proud of you. Homework already? I'm starting a new ship's lock. No ship? We're surrounded by water, so we're technically still at sea. It's good logic, Liz. Hey, guys, ready to get the night of popping? You know popcorn? Oh, yeah. Shane, you shouldn't have used that. We need to plant as many seeds as we thought. Your mom's right. We should probably even save the tomato and chili seeds from the salt. Mm. They're not gonna grow. They've been cooked. Not necessarily. Seeds are very resilient. Uh, was the bathroom in the east or the west wing? I think any three will do. <laughs> I do. Do you think we should open this up? You know what they call this place? Home. Yeah. <laughs> Lizzie. What? <laughs> oh. It's the redhead, dude. Just death shame. I'm gonna see it. 
I'm warning you, get out of here! <laughs> Shane's redhead just beat the hell out of him. Whoa. What the heck was that? Okay. This is the place. I thought we could build a main house over there. And Liz, your your room would be above us. And boys, uh. How about across the river? That's cruel, Mom. At least we're having a piece of water. Well, it's late, bro. We can use the ropes and swing across. We'll finally have a place of our own, huh? Oh, great. We can play the stereo as loud as we want. <laughs> what are we gonna build all this for? Stuff we find in the jungle, honey. Let's go ashore and Liz. I need your notebook. I imagine something like this. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. It would be great if we had a deck right here. Yeah, we can dive off it. Oh, Dad, and put a rope swing right here. Okay. Dude, we're just going to be swinging all day long. Oh, I see you, dude. Oh, you got it all wrong, man. You see, you're a monkey, and I'm a human being. No offense, but, uh, it's not your type. Hey, monkey. You there? English? Uh, no comprende. Habla espanol? Palavu francais? Oui. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Wanna put that thing down? What's your name? Yes. Yes. Do you want me to go with you? Yes. Okay. Where are we going? Hey! No! Would you mind letting me down? I'm getting a head rush here. Ow! What'd you do that for? What's the matter with you? 
You really think this thing's gonna float? I hope so. How are you guys doing? Great, firework. Burned a whole piece of it. I'm starving. I made some mango pie. Oh, that's great. Where's Shane? Oh, he went surfing down the point. Well, this isn't gonna keep. Well, let's just start without him. Maybe he'll learn to be on time. Probably having lunch with his orangutan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, if you eat that, I'm gonna hurl. Mush. No. Mush. No, thank you. Mm. Uh, oh. No, thank you. Mm -mm. Look, I don't know what you're saying, okay? And if you don't untie me, my dad's gonna come down here and kick your butt. I'm not a waiter. Huh? Hey, hey, no touching. Come over here a second. Do me a favor. Huh? Hey. Come on over, bro. Come on. Hey. Parlez-vous français? <laughs> hey, bud. You untie me? <laughs> if you untie me, I'll take you to California. What's your bra, <laughs> bud? Oh. Dude! <laughs> Tracks go up there. Yeah. It's just not like him to leave his board like this. Hey, Shane! Shane! Yeah, it looks like something happened here. There's all sorts of footprints. This doesn't look like Shane, it's too small. Maybe it's the orang. Look, you better go back. I told the girls to be back by dinner. I'll catch up with you if I don't find anything. What do you think it is? I don't know. Maybe he's already back home. Shane! Hey, bud. I know how you feel. What's her trip? You. 
who? Francoise. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant. Uh, vous pair. Oui. Ma mère et mon père sont morts dans un accident d'avion. Yeah. That's what I figured. Figure? Who else? <laughs> It's my dad. Uh, 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 mon père. You better on time. He's gonna be really pissed if he sees me like this. Dad! Dad! Shame! Voilà. C'est le de dormir maintenant. I have no clue what you're saying. What? What? Can I just ask you something? Untied me. Cool. Just a second. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, I see you. Oh, me. All right. Why'd you let me go, Shane? A good guy now? Gentil garçon? What do you think you're doing, Shane? Oh, Dad! Hey! Who is that? Where did she come from? I don't know. I was kidnapped. Kidnapped by whom? The girl! She took me! That is not called kidnapping, Shane. We've been looking for you since yesterday. Don't you have any concern for other people's feelings? Chris Wallace! Come back here! Now look what you did. Just when I was getting to know her. Yeah? Get out of the water, Shane. You've been driving us crazy. And don't give me the oh whatever stuff. Come on, let's go. She was over here in the plane. Looks like an old aerocommander. 
Francois! We're not gonna hurt you! Francois! Mom, how do I say we're not gonna hurt you? N'allons pas vous blesser. Nous n'allons pas vous blesser. Got it. Nous n'allons pas vous blesser. What is it? The flight lock. Left Jakarta, July 18th, 1986. It's been here over 10 years? Yeah. Yeah? Dad, don't touch that. It's her family. Sure, we have to bury him properly. No, not without Francois's permission. We can't leave him here like this. It's not natural. She still communicates with him. Shane, that is not the way it is. I knew you wouldn't understand. I shouldn't even have brought you up here. Francois! It's just me now. You can come out. That was the first time I ever saw my brother serious in his whole life. After Dad buried the bodies, he never spoke to any of us. He just went out into the forest every day looking for the girl. He seemed to be obsessed. Mom said he was heartbroken. But how could anybody be so upset about someone he'd only just met? Jane, you okay? I felt so sorry for my brother. Every day he came back looking sadder and sadder until everyone became worried about him. Mom and Dad tried to communicate with him, but he didn't want to talk with anyone until that fateful moment. And everything changed. Shem? Came back. Sue, mon manque, Shem. J'ai besoin de toi. I missed you so much. I needed you. She doesn't know about handshakes. Here you go, shake his hand. See? Same with you. See, Mama? Bonjour. 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 Look at the monkey. He's trying to shake hands. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. He knows how to kiss. It's okay. Bien, bien, Francois. Bienvenue à notre maison. It was such a joy meeting someone new on the island, especially when that person turned out to be as nice as Dad's squad. Mom got a new daughter, I got a new big sister, and Shane became his old self again. Only this time, he seemed nicer. Even the orangutan, who we named Big Red, became a loved member of the family. Care for a cigar? <laughs> <laughs> 
It was amazing to hear how Francoise had survived, using nettle spray to fend off all the wild animals with the bamboo gun she made herself. For some unknown reason, everything seemed to go better with Fran and the family. I don't know whether it was because there were now three boys and three girls, or just that we thought less about ourselves as we spent our time teaching our new friend about the world she had missed. doing that good. Make sure you get in the inside. When we're done with this, we'll go down to the beach and see what Fran and the boys are doing. <laughs> Maybe we can talk Shane into teaching you how to surf. It's the hard part about cooking. Just to wash all the pots and cans. Hey, wanna play Jim Rummy with us? No way, he cheats all the time. He will this time. I made him promise. Isn't that right, Red? <laughs> Okay. All right. Come on. Come on. Give it to me. You see Fran and your brother? Yeah, they were at the surfing beach. We're going to play gin rummy in my room. It's too late to be surfing. What do you think we're doing? Well, without watching television, I can tell you that. Oh, my God. I don't think... I would. Jack! I would. Jack! I would. Here they come now. Don't you think you should talk to him about this, Jack? Not tonight, I'm not. Come on. Let's turn in. Well, I'll be there in a minute. Don't be too long. Hey, Mom. How are you guys doing? Killer. Got some perfect waves. Just to be awesome, dude. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are having fun. Mom, uh, can you tell her something for me? Sure. Tell her that I love her. <laughs> well, I think she already knows that, Shane, and we all love her. No, I mean, like, a man loves a woman. <sighs> well, I, um, I think you're gonna have to figure out some way of telling her that yourself, Shane. Okay, what I'm really trying to say is, will she marry me? Shane, you're too young for that. No way, I'm totally ready. <laughs> Franny, I mean, she's, she's just a child. What difference does it make? We really love each other. Jack? I heard. Hey, Bob, what do you think, huh? I think your mom's right. I think you should wait a while. Wait. Wait for what? It's not like anything's going to change around here. If I was back in L.A., I'd still marry her. We're just trying to do what's right for you and Fran, Shane. You still have to think about the future. Future? What future? We're not always going to be here, Shane. You don't know that. You can be stuck here forever. Besides, people get married younger than us all the time. Well, not where I come from. Well, we're not where you came from. Hey, that's enough. Now, you and Fran are too young to make decisions like this. No, you're wrong. We are mature enough. You just don't know that, because you're lost in your own little world. Hey! I love her, and she loves me. You know what? We'll just go build our own house and start our own life. Come on! Alonze! Sorry. Shane! You come back here! You're just gonna let him go away like that? Well, there's... There's nothing I can do about it right now. Well, what if they don't come back? Anna, they can't go very far. Do you think they should be allowed to get married? No. If they love each other, then what difference does it make? If they love each other, they can wait, can't they? Well, I'm certainly not going to fall in love till I'm old enough. It's 
not worth going through all the trouble. There you go. I brought you something to eat. Oh boy. He's so upset. They should have just taken him with them. It broke his heart. Just give him one of Mom's cookies. He'll feel fine. them talking about the place. Jack? What's going on with Tom? They took him. We're going after him. Shane, go get your board and all the rope you can find. What do you mean you're going after him? I'm going over there and getting him back. There's too many of them, Jack. Maybe we can get them out before they know we're there. We can't do this, Jack. It's much too dangerous. What do you want me to do? Leave him there? I'd never seen my mother like that before. It was like all the life was drained out of her. And the fear she felt passed into me. Todd was gone, maybe even dead. I began to pray to God to bring him back, to give my father and Shane all the strength they'd need to make it happen. Like he's been hurt. Come on. Look at the baby. Oh. Bleeding. Looks like he's been shot. Doesn't seem to be too bad. Let's get him inside. Oh, mommy. He's so cute. Come on, baby. I'll look after you. There. I think I should hold for now. I love them. <laughs> Oh, just like people. And I'm so... She's showing her appreciation. <laughs> that was the first time I realized that animals have the same feelings of gratitude and love that we do as humans. And the realization of that fact brought us all together. Together as a family. Dependent upon each other for our very survival. Do you think he's on board? Probably. You gotta get ourselves a boat first.
The keys are still inside. Okay. Look, it's gonna be like 20 minutes. You get this boat in the water. Let's see if I can find him. And if I'm not back, you leave without me. Dad, I'm not gonna go without you. Don't make things worse. It's gonna be okay. I'll be back. You better be. Jack! Thought for a moment there I was dreaming. Where's Todd? Toddy. Good old Todd. He told me all about that treasure of mine. I said, where is he? You're getting good at this. You're an old family man. But you got no end game, Jack. Let me make this perfectly clear, Sheldon. I don't care about my life without my son. So if you want to keep on living, you'll take me to him now. Now, whatever you say, Jack. Thing a dog? This guy. Hey, back off, buddy. You're a nice kid now. Hang on. Take it easy. Hey, kid, you wouldn't shoot a guy in the face, would you? No. But I'd shoot you in the foot. Just 
Do what he says, boys. Just take it easy. Get in the boat. I said get in the boat. Push off, Shane. Come on, let's go. They're getting too close. I said they're getting too close. Hey, okay, stay back. Stay back. Get us out of here. Are you kidding? I said stand up. Right. Oh, don't do this, man. Come on. Hey, hey. Ah! Get out of here. Shot in the leg. We think that's his family. Anna, children's coming back. We've got to get ready for them. Well, come just hiding. Not this time. We're going to have to fight. It's our only chance. Ha <laughs> I've got you now, Jack. guys will not hesitate to hurt us. So don't you hesitate to hurt them. Okay? Yeah. Okay. See you, Doc. Hey, give me a beer while the old man's away. Get your own beer.
Excuse me. Is the captain on board? Sure, he's. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> Why you do run <laughs> on it? You're supposed to hit him. Go that way. Tie. Right, come on. Tie him up. Anything. It went clean through. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Shane. Shane. He's fine. He's gonna be okay. Okay. Yeah. You're coming back. Yeah, I see. Give me the gun, Todd. You can use this, right? Yeah. Go and get the anchor. We're getting out of this.
Push west! Come on, get out of there. Hey, what are you doing? never felt such joy and relief in my entire life. After 182 days lost in a wild and primitive land, they're finally safe and once again bound for Sydney, Australia. That is determined to return the orangutans <laughs> to their island after the pirates have been arrested. Until that day, we're all going to live together. In a strange way, I'm already beginning to miss the simpleness of our life on the island, the beauty of that place and the way we all live there together. Together as a family should be. Loving, supportive, perfect as God intended. 